Hello and welcome to Next News. The federal government of Nigeria has announced the removal of subsidy on petroleum products, citing inefficiency and corruption. The government has set up a committee headed by Isa Yuguda, the governor of Bauchi State, to design the action plan and time frame for the commencement of the full deregulation process. The government had until the recent removal subsidized the cost of importing the refined fuel to enhance the supply and distribution of petroleum products across the country. The Central Bank of Nigeria, the CBN, announced on Wednesday that it will revoke the licenses of Buru de Change operators involved in fraud and money laundering. Charles Soludo, governor of the Central Bank, accused the Buru operators of non-compliance with the CBN's policy which mandates Buru de Change operators to buy and sell Naira at a rate that is not more than 2% above the bank's official rates. However, since the Naira began its downward slide in 2008, a huge gap opened up between the official rate for the foreign exchange and the rate for the black market enabling some Buru operators to make large profits from a weakened Naira. The inauguration ceremony for the head of the new Nigerian Airspace Management Agency, NAMA, held on Friday at the Aviation Agency's headquarters in Lagos, Nigeria. Ibrahim Naoyo replaces Ado Sanusi, who was sacked last week following a restructuring in the aviation industry. The eldest son of the former president of Guinea, Lasana Conte, has confessed to drug trafficking. Osana Conte was arrested on Monday by the junta that seized power hours after the death of his father in December. Usmani has been accused of being the godfather of the country's booming trade in cocaine, destined for Europe. The Nigerian Super Eagles chief coach, Waibu Amodu, will formally name his squad to face Mozambique in the 2010 World Cup qualifiers at a press conference in Abuja next week. This is the first time a Nigerian coach will release his squad list at a formal ceremony in front of the press. The spokesperson for the Nigerian Football Federation, Ademola Olajire, said if this becomes a regular event, it will give mileage to official partners. American singer Chris Brown is reported to have enrolled in an anger management class in Glendale, California. Brown, who is expected to appear in court on March 5th alongside Rihanna, started taking anger management classes since Monday, the report said. Brown is facing a felony charge for his involvement in a violent incident allegedly involving girlfriend Rihanna on the 8th of February. Thanks for watching Next News. For more information about these and other stories, please visit our website at 234next.com. Have a nice weekend.